Welcome back to Yellow Daisy. I'm Teresa. If you're new here, we would love for you to hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Today I am participating in the Outdoor Christmas Porch DIY Decor Challenge that Jessica over at Measure and Mix and Mrs. V are hosting. For this challenge, they want to see your outdoor before area and then the after you've decorated it for the holidays. They also mentioned that it could be outdoor decor anywhere. So your yard, front porch. So I decided to do my front porch for this challenge. And I will be doing a little DIY for our front door wreath as well. So sit back, grab something warm to drink, and I hope you enjoy the video. As you can see, my porch is still decorated for fall. So the first thing I needed to do was take all of the fall decorations down and clean out the flower pots. Then it was time to bring out my Christmas decorations. And I'm loving this vintage style Santa that I found at the North Carolina Pottery in Smithfield, North Carolina. I'm so excited. I've been wanting one of these for a long time. I took out some of my Christmas picks that I had up in storage along with the snow spray so I could do some flocking and then that basket is something that I have also had um, in my decorating stash. I used this lantern on my porch during the fall and had it had little pumpkins inside of it. So I took the pumpkins out, added the Dollar Tree pick on top, and just made a bow with some ribbon that I had. And then here I'm just putting in the pine cones that I sprayed with the snow spray. And I don't show it, but I also put some fairy lights that's on a timer inside there so at night it illuminates. I had this wreath up in my Christmas stash, so I brought it down and while I was at the North Carolina Pottery, I wanted to find something to put in the center of this wreath. So I found this little ornament and then the plaid, it's like a door hanger or something, and I knew that I did not want to use the plaid ribbon, so that's what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of taking it apart and using the parts of the bell, sash, and the ornament that I wanted to use on my wreath. And this is what the wreath looks like once I put that ornament and the sash on it. I really liked it, but it just needed a little bit more. It looked really small on my front door. So what I did was I went out back and cut some branches off of a pine tree that we have. And I just started filling in on the wreath to kind of give it a little bit more presence. And you'll notice I'm not using any kind of glue. I'm just kind of putting it in the wreath and using the branches that's on the wreath and just kind of like twisting it around so it stays. Then I decided that I needed a little bit more texture so I went and got one of my eucalyptus stems and cut them 
individual and then just stuck those in just in certain little spots of the wreath. And I love the way it turned out. I love all the different textures in this wreath. And I'm just kind of showing you close up at all the different textures and how they work together. And here is my front porch decorated for Christmas. Thank you so much for coming along with me today as I decorate our front porch. And a big thanks to Jessica and Mrs. V for putting on this challenge. I will list both their channels and the playlist down below in the description box. And also, if you are not subscribed to our channel, we would love for you to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Happy holidays, everyone. Bye-bye.